Okay, everyone. Oh my goodness, it's two videos in a row. I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. Um, as you can see, look at this amazing blanket in front of you. Isn't it just beautiful? Um, my nails are for Beetlejuice, you guys. My sister-in-law did my nails. I'm gonna go see the movie tomorrow. Um, the blanket I got at the Goodwill it was brand new, had the tags, I cut everything off and then washed it. But as you can see here, I have some interesting feet or paws. That's right. I created some little monsters. Now, if you've seen my Instagram shorts or you've seen my YouTube little clips, then you obviously know who they are. But I wanted to formally make a video and introduce you to my little monsters. So, of course, you <laughs> see these little paws. And I painted both of these sculpts. I enjoyed making these babies immensely. Um, as you may or may not know, Halloween, anything spooky is my forte. I love it. It's my happy place. And making these kind of babies brings me a lot of joy. So here are the feet. Some very, very handsome looking claws there. There are the hands. There's some like cool looking fur. And there's that handsome face. <laughs> Only a mother could love. <laughs> um, this is Enzo. I named him Enzo. And he has some crazy hair going on. Yep. So I applied all of this hair on him. His eyes are the kind of eyes that you look at and they follow you. See how his eyes are in the corner? And if you go this way, they follow you this way. I will leave the link or I should say the shop name of where you can buy these eyes in the description bar. These are custom eyes and they are gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And Lori, if you're watching, thank you. Now, this little guy here, you see his little things. He was such a pleasure to paint. Here's his ears can see there, there are his ears. Let me see what else I can show you. Let's look at this side. There's this side of his ear. And he has hair. And then here is his arm. So his whole body is not covered in hair. It's just right up to this point right here. Because he's, you know, half werewolf. So here's his other arm over here. And I made him have this pretty um, auburn hair because of my love for October. Hence his eye color. Look how he's looking at me. He's side-eyeing me. He's like, what you talking about, Mom? Um... It's for my love of October and everything that it brings. Fall, pumpkins, everything. And when I went to the Goodwill, I found this um, outfit for him and I thought it was perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, I just have to fix the um, suspenders right here because they're a little big. But other than that, it looks so cute on him. And, Majority of the time, he'll be in this. Um, I won't change him too much. Now, here is this cutie. His feet and his toes, and he's more on the very, very pale side. Very pale side. And there are his hands. Look at those hands, aren't they amazing? I love his hands, they are so, so cool. 
I painted him very, very light, very light, as you can see. And here comes his face. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there's some things. Here he is. This is Alistair, my vampire. And I custom made his fangs out of polymer clay. As you can see, he has a tongue in there. It's like to the side where his cheek is. So it's very difficult to get those fangs in there, but they're in there. And then there's his brows that I did. I love his eyes. And his skin tone has a little bit of texture on there. He's very um, muted, I would say, in his color. He's very, you know, gray and a little purple. And then I did paint his hair. I used Prisma pencil and then I painted his hair. And the same goes for his brows. There's a nice sideburn action going on there, huh? Very beautiful brows this guy has. But there are my two little monsters. And with that being said, I have another werewolf here. And if any of you are interested, and me painting this werewolf for you since you know Halloween is coming up let me know my email will be at the bottom this werewolf will be hundred and fifty dollars that's not including shipping um, there's a lot involved creating these werewolves it isn't just you know slap some paint on it this werewolf will have hair um, and I'm thinking I'm going to do gray, but it is a different style than Enzo. Okay. You can see here there's more teeth action going, more fangs. Um, I think I'm going to make this one a girl unless the person who decides to purchase this werewolf from me wants it to be a boy. I'm going to go with girl. The facial the head is smaller, just looks more feminine to me. Um, that's my thoughts on it. But this is the face. Okay, and here is one of the paws here. And here is the foot or the paw. Here is the other hand slash paw. And here is the other one. So she is going to be more smaller than Enzo. Enzo is a good newborn size. I would say this one is going to be a small newborn preemie. Um, as you can tell by the legs, how much more skinnier they are. That's why I said this one looks more feminine to me. Um, so if you are interested in me reborning this baby for you, baby werewolf, um, please contact me at Rosie's Baby Bliss Nursery at hotmail.com. And like I said, this baby werewolf will be $150. That is not including shipping and only ships to the U.S. These are the eyes. Now, if you want to have eyes like Enzo, those are custom eyes, and those eyes are, um, of course, they're amazing. And we can talk about that and um, how much they cost, if you want to upgrade for better eyes. Um, this, this is the body here. Right here. So you'll have to let me know. First come, first serve, whoever emails me first. Um, there will be a deposit that will be needed. And then the rest needs to be paid once uh, the wear pup is finished. Again, $150, that does not include shipping. Um, a deposit needs to be put down. And then we will go from there on the rest 
of the details of the pup. But you guys, they're amazing. They are so much fun, especially this little guy right here. Well, both of them are really special. Um, I love them both. So this is Enzo, Alistair, and I appreciate all of your guys' wonderful comments on them when I did share them. Thank you very much. I did work very hard on these guys. Um, I just love him. I love his little expression. It's like, ah, I'm going to get you. Boom. You know, it, it's just perfect. Perfect for him. And um, I enjoy every minute of the process of making these two. But definitely Enzo was a lot more work, a lot more time invested in Enzo. So just let me know, guys. Shoot me an email. Thanks for watching. Bye. Let's call it in the crossfire.